Let's talk about wearing yourselves out and not being able to actually live your life in today's video. We're gonna discuss delayed gratification versus delayed degradation. Let's dive into it. And before we start the video, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Now there's a concept that I've been working through in my head called delayed gratification versus delayed degradation. So let's first discuss delayed gratification, something you're definitely familiar with because it's something that is prized so often, not in only self-improvement, but in overall life. And delayed gratification quite literally is, hey, I'm putting in all this upfront work now, I do it every single day and I get X result later in time, whatever that may be. Maybe it's a month from now, maybe it's 10 years from now. It doesn't really matter the length of time, but essentially it's the upfront work for what you get later in life. That's delayed gratification. Now, the other hand, delayed degradation is something that I'm really playing with because a lot of times we chase the delayed gratification. We think that putting in the upfront work right now is going to elicit the response that we want later in life. We're going to get the best job. We're going to advance in positions. I'm going to be able to live my dream life, right? That is what we try to create. And that's what we try to create through delayed gratification often. And yes, it is important. If you ever heard of the marshmallow test, essentially kids were sat in front of a marshmallow and they were asked, Hey, if you eat this marshmallow now, you don't get another one. But if you don't eat it and you let it sit there, you'll get another one in 20 minutes. And the kids who didn't eat it, who got the second one also showed to perform better in their careers and all these other performance metrics, which whether you believe that it is true in the fact of, hey, that one, this wasn't replicated, but two, you're telling me that based on kids' willpower to get a marshmallow later in life, they became the utmost best in their class, the best performing, the best at business, whatever it may be. But the fact of the matter is that is the prized possession of delayed gratification. Delayed gratification means, hey, I can not take something now to reap a bigger reward later. Although, just like everything, there's a sweet spot for this. Now, delayed degradation, on the other hand, is where this goes wrong. And I think this goes wrong in a lot of areas in life. And it goes wrong in most people's lives because we often go into a job and say, no, we'll get it in the future. No, we'll get it later in life. And we continue to do that. We say that over and over again, over and over and over again. And then we wind up at a place where we are degraded, unable to use the gratification, the thing that we elicited based on pushing things off, not going and feeding our desires because we've been just working, just hustling, just making sure that we can get the bigger prize later in life. And what ends up happening is, now we're frail, now we're weak, now we pushed off our health because we knew we could make our health better later in life. We pushed off all these things that have now left us degraded. And that's a concept that I want you to think about and I'm thinking about constantly is that, yes, you can go do the nine to five, advance in positions. You can do whatever you think is going to truly elicit the benefit for you later in life. And definitely learn hard work, learn deep work. Uh, deep work is a great book. If you haven't read that, make sure to read it. Do all the different things that allow you, build the habits, right? Habits are definitely delayed gratification. You're not gonna see something amazing from habits at the beginning, but habits typically are bettering you today and now. So by doing the upfront energy, you're expending less energy later in life. On the other hand, if you choose tasks or you choose things that basically require a lot of energy now and they continue to require energy and they use up so much energy that you can't produce the energy later in life, then you've been degraded. Then everything that you thought you were working for is now completely obsolete because you're worrying about your knees, your ankles, your health problems that you have and you develop because you thought you were going to get to nth degree later in life. Remember in the video I talked about success. Success is fleeting. It's not a real thing. It's different for every single person and it isn't money related. It isn't achievement related. Success means you are done. Success means you're done. You will never achieve success. No one will ever achieve success because success means you are done, but instead fulfillment is what we most likely are after. Be fulfilled, you can be fulfilled today, stay gratified and allow yourself to truly flourish where you are today. Don't push everything off to the future because there may not be a future. Work for 30 years and realize that it took another 30 years off of your life and you're basically almost dead. That's what I'm gonna leave you with. If this video helps spark any thoughts 
any new ideas in your head, make sure to leave them below in the comment box. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future and I look forward to chatting with you soon.